if you're watching this video, you're probably going to give the SAT. Well, you can get a bit closer to that score of 1600 by using Desmos on the maths portion. Desmos is an actual game changer when it comes to SAT maths. Questions that used to take minutes on the written SAT can be done in seconds using Desmos. Let me show you some different type of questions you can use Desmos on to guarantee your score of at least above 700 on maths. In the SAT, you might get a question which gives you a function and then asks you to get the value of the function for a certain input. For example, in the question, h of x equals 8 over 5x plus 6, and the question wants us to find the value of h of 2. We simply define this function in Desmos and then put h of 2 in the next line. It'll spit the right answer to us, and there's one question solved using Desmos. Another common question you can solve using Desmos is the ones which give you a function and the value of the function and then asks you to find the input value of x. In this example, the function is f of x equals 14 plus 4x. We know from the question that the value of the function is 58. We simply write this in Desmos, 58 equals 14 plus 4x, and the x value of the line that it forms is the answer to the question. In this case, the answer is 11. Another common question is one where they give you an equation and then they ask for the y-coordinate of the y-intercept. For example, the question states that the equation is 3x over 7 equals negative 5y over 9 plus 21. We put this into Desmos and we can see that the y-coordinate of the y-axis is 37.8 and that's the answer to the question. Now, this next question is by far one of the craziest ones you can use Desmos on. The question gives us a table of values for the inputs or x values and the outputs or the different values of g of x. The question also tells us that g of x equals f of x over x plus 3 where f of x is a linear function. Since f of x is a linear function, we know that f of x can be written in the form mx plus b. The question then tells us to find the y-intercept of f of x. The first step is to create a table in Desmos with all of our values given in the question. The x value should be labeled x1 and the y values or the outputs of g of x should be labeled y1. We then write the equation we know which is y1 tilde mx1 plus b divided by x1 plus 3. And the reason we use y1 uh, and x1 for the different places of g of x and x is because then it'll use the values in the table to create a regression for the line. Desmos will eventually then spit out the values of m and b and this will give us the function f of x is 4x plus 36. We can then simply write this equation in Desmos to get the y-intercept as 0 and 36. Those are just a few of the questions that you can use Desmos on on the SAT to get a perfect score. And if you guys want a second part to this, please comment down below and please subscribe and like the video.